Hey guys, what's up? Denise here from Lifecycle360TT.com. Yeah, today we're talking about why I stopped wearing slippers or flip-flops at home. I'm going barefoot now. Right, so the topic has key. Well, I wouldn't say came up yesterday, but it's something I've been practicing now for about, probably about almost a year. I started doing the barefoot walking at home. And also if I'm outside, I try to do that as well. Now, there's a lot of reasons why uh, out there, if you actually Google the topic, where people will talk about reasons such as grounding and earthing and all of that. But with the reasons that I'm doing it is basically because the biomechanics of our feet are actually being thrown off when we wear these flip-flops or slippers. So that's my reason why I wanted to do this video and share with you the reasons and how it can benefit you going forward by not wearing slippers at home. Now, I'm not... Um, all out for throwing away slippers and us walking barefoot throughout the whole you know going to work and stuff it's a time and place for everything but the point is when you're at home you're able to um, have more control of where you put your foot and your surroundings so that's why i decided to do it at home and i'm going to share the reasons why before i go on to that i wanted to start by showing you what the foot, the basic biomechanics of how our foot is used in, in walking and why it's so important that we allow the muscles of the feet to be able to have the ability to grip the ground, be able to feel and be stimulated by the floor and what is on the floor rather than we on this cushiony um, soles of the, the flip-flops or any other type of thing that you wear. All right, so let's let's get to it. All right, so the foot and the ankle, there's a complex structure with great potential for influence on how the rest of the human movement system operates. The foot and the ankle region, it represents the platform from which our base, base of our support is derived and the main contact between the ground and the body so the design of the foot and ankle is done in that way that we can withstand those forces it's designed to withstand not only high amount of forces but also we are able to um, reverse that with allowing our body to stop the motion when we want to come to a halt from walking and when we want to push off so supination pronation where you have the ankle being able to move in a particular way all that is designed so that we are able to allow the foot to do its job in the best way so the ankle plays an important part in allowing uh, movements such as dorsiflexion and plantar flexion that's like that's the two plantar and dorsiflexion right there and um, when you have slippers on this foot, let's look at how the slippers and what happens to the feet when it tries to keep the slippers on and when it's off. So before we go on to how we walk, look at what happens under the foot. There are three main points that we stand on if we have a nice arch, the heel, the ball of the foot, and also what allows the toes to be able to move, some fascia, we call the plantar fascia. And above that, we have that a big Achilles tendon, also helping for movement of the ankle, right? So the, the fascia underneath the foot plays a big role, and that is why and that actually that is what gets messed up when we wear those flip-flops. The fascia under the foot, what happens when we able, we're walking barefoot, there's concentric and eccentric loading, meaning that the muscles work together to be able to move nicely. There's no restrictions or there's no hampering of the movement when we're barefoot to be able to push off, to be able to have flexion of the toes, to be able to um, take the weight when we actually making that step forward or we're coming to a halt. That is what happens when we barefoot, right? 
So the thing is, one of the main things that happens when we are bare feet is the toes um, are able to move in that particular way where there are no restrictions. There's no um, concentration of trying to hold anything as you would if you're wearing uh, flip-flops. So let's go to that flip-flop wearing video. Let me show you what I'm talking so about. So we're looking at, we added the flip-flops, we added the slippers on. You'll notice that the toes, although there's a little wedge in between the toes, you see what happens if I make a step forward. My toes, let me see. yeah, so my toes actually have to hold on to the flip-flop. The other foot is going to now not be able to stand and get that arch because it's now on something cushiony and the weight will be dragged upward to lift the foot. That's what's going to happen there. So you find that under the foot, the fascia and the, under the foot, because the toes now have to kind of grip onto the slippers, it's going to become concentrically loaded and concentric motion leads to shortening of the muscle that is under the foot. That's why you have now the foot becoming lazy on, or even tight, the muscles under the foot becoming tight because it cannot lengthen the way it's supposed to when you're making that step, right? The more that the muscles under the foot become shortened is the more difficult you'll have for the natural process of the feet moving as it should. Right guys, so I tried to explain it as best as I could and the main thing I want you guys to take from this video that I just made was the fact that your feet definitely cannot move as it should. Um, I mean, think about having a glove on all the time with your hands. You need your hands when the gloves obstruct you so much and it's actually contoured to your hands. So think about it. If you had slippers on, out moving around on the ground, your feet are going to start not moving as it should, especially the natural ability to move when we walk. So take that um, important point from it. It's something that I don't think you can just jump right into if you do decide to start wearing your slippers at home. Try it um, for a little bit of time during the day. Also try moving your feet while you're not wearing your flip-flops. Just trying to probably go on your tippy toes, trying to see what it feels like so that your brain can kind of rewire itself to feel what it feels um, when it's on the ground. You'll be surprised how much that has been taken away uh, from us from constantly wearing our slippers even while we're at home. You know, growing up in the Caribbean in Trinidad, it's something that since I was small, you always hear wear slippers, wear slippers all the time. And it's, it's something that I, it's been embedded in me. So it's a process of gently trying to take away that concept by educating yourself and being knowledgeable of why you're doing what you're doing. That makes all the difference. So that's why this video is good enough that it, you, can, you can take this and try to apply it to making some changes, you know. And that's why one of the things for us at, at Life Cycle 360 is about education. Education is life. And yeah, we need to become more. So thanks for uh, staying with me for this long. I hope this video is good that you can make that change. And if you like the video, please share. Send your comments out. I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions about other things. I want to want to answer it. And I would love to... Um, hear from you guys. Show some love. Yeah. Take care, guys. Have a great one. Stay tuned for the next video coming out soon. Peace.